Well, hello everyone. It's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys a quick little reading on you versus them. So this could be about any kind of a person in your life. And we're just going to compare the energies of where they are at versus you. And hopefully this will help you in, you know, just kind of knowing what's going on or just maybe even with making a decision. So just go ahead and take what resonates for you and get rid of anything that doesn't. The decks I'll be using here today will be listed down below. And today's organite is called the Divine Love Pyramid created by Michelle from Wing and Bell. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to take a look and see where is your person at with you and this connection at this particular time. What is their energy towards you in this connection? How are they seeing things from their perspective? This is called the energy oracle. Okay, so you guys, this card just popped up, so we will take it. It does say deceit. Interesting. So you know, if that doesn't resonate for you, then maybe I'm not tapped into your reading, but it could just be that maybe this person is hiding something right now. Maybe they don't want you to see something. Maybe they're even hiding their feelings at this time. Let's go ahead and get some tarot cards to see what the heck's going on here. All right, this is called a psychic tarot and oracle deck. Okay, let's see what this deceit energy is about. Hmm, they're, they're, um, well, they're lying about their past or they're lying about something having to do with their feelings or their heart. But the six of cups is a card of the past. Either they're lying about their childhood or they're lying about past relationships. They're just holding something back. And now it could just be they're, they're hiding trauma or they're hiding like their experiences because they don't want you to know about them. They don't feel comfortable, but, uh, there's something here that's really affecting this person. Yeah, we have the four of swords, which is a card of pulling away. If this person has pulled away, it's almost like they haven't told you why there's something more going on though, than you, than you even know, there's something definitely more going on with this person. So, you know, um, no matter what, I mean, the deceit energy isn't that great. And if, if you're dealing with somebody, they should be able to just basically tell you like, Hey, you know what? I'm going through a difficult time. It's not you. It's, it's definitely me. Um, but if you're getting like a ghosting or no explanation from this person, I feel like they at least owe you something. And I feel like that's the deceit is that they're probably not handling this in the best way that they could. And that's causing you to feel confused. You don't know where you're at with this person, which is probably why you're watching this reading. So let's go ahead and see your energy towards them. Cause remember it's a, like a them versus you. So where are you at? Okay. So like, you're really in your head. You're trying to analyze the hell out of the situation. Like what the hell is going on? You know, I thought that you were a particular p person because you said certain things or you acted a certain way, but when it comes down to it, it's like, that's not the, that's not the picture the picture that you're getting now is like completely different. So you're very much trying to analyze this person and trying to figure out what is going on. And unfortunately they're hiding something, which makes it very difficult to, um, to deal with. Yeah. So it's like, you, now you're in this mental conflict. Like, what do I do? You're stuck to a source energy. Like you're confused because again, what, this person's saying or how they're acting, it's not adding up. So it's a problem. But I do have, I mean, obviously the six of swords means like you will victoriously be successful when it comes to like getting over this person or maybe not being so confused over this person. So why is there going to be this maybe clarity or there's the success for you. Um, what is spirit's advice for you when it comes to dealing with this individual? Like what, what is spirit trying to tell you here? What should you do? Okay. Old soul. <laughs> you have lived many lifetimes and gained, gained wisdom beyond your years. Uh, use your wisdom, you guys. Um, so if you feel like you're being lied to, it's because you, you are, it's just come through the reading. Um, you've been there, done that you've dealt with this kind of energy before. It feels familiar to you. You've been around the block and to discount your, your intuition or your gut would be really foolish. And so you are being asked if you're dealing with someone who things aren't adding up, you're probably best to just walk away from this individual because I just feel like it's probably 
not going to get resolved because the way that this person is just allowing you to maybe think certain things or they're just not really explaining much it's really difficult yeah you're strong enough you have the power to pull the plug you have the power to walk away you absolutely do don't give this person any more power is what i'm seeing here so let's go ahead and see what spirit is um basically saying for the future here like what does the possible future hold with this person where are things most likely going to go okay so we do have the woman holding a heart so there's obviously something going on with the person who's watching this video. You know, where, where your feelings perhaps will change. Ooh, okay. What I'm getting here, you guys, is that you are seeing this person exactly for who they are and um, you're not putting up with it anymore. So the Seven of Swords is the lie. The Seven of Swords reverse just means like the mask has come off. You see this person for how they truly are. You don't even need to even hear an explanation from this person. You know that you're being deceived. You know you're being lied to and you're just done with it. You're done you're done giving this person your heart, your time, and your energy. So what you're going to do is you're keeping your heart to yourself and you're going elsewhere. So I feel like a lot of you guys will leave this person in the dust and be done with this situation. Yeah. You're not going to put your life on hold, okay? But you're going to definitely think twice about moving forward and opening your heart or conversations up with people because you're going to be a little bit more guarded and you're going to be a little bit more discerning. Um, that's what the hanged man is. The hanged man is really going to, going to kind of maybe, maybe put love on hold or maybe just maybe like put this situation on hold. Like you're tired of being stuck and hung up on this person that I know, and you're going to release this. So spirits really, my cat's being weird. <laughs> um, you're, you're going to spirit saying you're basically going to, um, see this for what it really is. And you're going to choose to walk away. So let's go ahead and take a look at you and the future. You guys. Yeah, we have self-sabotage. Okay, so you may be creating pain for yourself by standing in your own way. So you're only going to stay stuck and hunt, like stay stuck and, and in a miserable place if you allow yourself to. It's almost like you're being given all of these clues as to what kind of person you're dealing with and you just like keep maybe going into the lion's den because maybe you're not wanting to admit something to yourself. You're not wanting to see the truth, but I'm just seeing here, like how many more times can spirit show you that this person that you're dealing with is probably not a stand up person or isn't just being authentic or real. How many times do you need it spelled out to you before you're just like, you know what? I'm just done with this situation. So I'm not trying to be like hardcore or tough love, you guys, but sometimes that is how spirit works. Bringing forth uncomfortable messages for us to have to look at and go, mm, you know, maybe that's just not for me. So we have envy. Okay, so of course, this is like a negative feeling. Being envious of others, being envious of what other people have. Could even be too, let's just say, someone that you used to be with is happy and you are not. And so it could be like your desperation of wanting to make something work with someone else is going to lead to your sabotage. So what I'm getting here is that this is like your ego, your ego needs to be put to the side. So what if you were wrong? So what if you fell for some BS? So what if the person that you thought was a certain type of person turned out not to be? We all make mistakes. So it's like you have to get out of your own way. You have to like drop the ego and let this go because you could continue to um, to fight this and just keep going or you could just accept that, you know what, sometimes people present something that they're not. And sometimes we fall for it. Sometimes we don't pay attention to our intuition and we just go into the lion's den. So forgive yourself and just learn for next time, just not to even toy with this kind of energy again. Yeah, you will be able to have a more prosperous beginning with solid people where you can grow, where two people are on the same page. So I'm just seeing here that let's just say you came together with this person. It was just like super problematic or just challenging or just kind of like not just kind of hit and miss, not really solid. 
it's it's like it was too iffy to begin with to really even grow. Um, so if you haven't really grown with this person since then or whenever this has happened, it, you're better off to plant a new seed in a, in a completely new garden because I feel like this garden is dried up and it is time to basically move past this person or situation. So let's get one more message for the road. What spirit's closing message to you about this whole situation? Universal bank. Everything that you need to thrive is already here. So you have everything that you need right now to be able to be happy, to be able to thrive, to be able to create the life that you want, right? So try not to drain your bank account on this person any longer because I'm just seeing here the funds are not available and how many times can you try to extract money from the ATM that is basically overdrawn. That's what I'm getting with that one. There's plenty of people in, this, in, in the universe. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Why are we wasting time with this person? That's what Spirit's saying. Why are we wasting so much time with this person? The writing is definitely on the wall. Yeah, it's time to journey on. It's like they were probably a part of your journey for some reason, but they're not your pit stop, you guys. It's not your destination. You're supposed to keep moving forward on your journey. Yeah, nine of pentacles. This is saying here, like this material harvest that should be in front of you is not there. So in order... In order to continue to thrive, the focus needs to be on making smarter, better decisions for yourself. That's what the nine of pentacles is all about. The nine of pentacles is independent. The nine of pentacles knows that they deserve, you know, certain things. And if people are not treating them as such, then they're not even going to bother to waste their time on that particular person or situation. So know your worth, know your value. And if you don't, you will probably continue to meet people along the way that will create these opportunities for you to kind of add to your value. That's why I feel like that universal bank card is here to add to your value. So this person taking away something from you is actually strengthening you. It's giving you an opportunity to really value yourself. And it's like a test along your journey. Do you value yourself yet? Or are you going to spend unnecessary time and energy on this person? So it's a test right now of how much you actually value yourself. That's the lesson. But if you waste any more time trying to figure out what this is or, you know, trying to construct something around this, a story, I just feel like it's going to waste your time. There's something of more value for you moving forward. So sorry, guys. I know it was a tough love. This is not going to be for every single person. I also want to remind you guys that not every reading that you see of mine is going to be yours. So let's just say you're really resonating with the divine masculine readings, the weekly soul connection reading and all that. And then this is just like, oh my God, like now you're telling me this person is bad for me. Now you're telling me this person's a liar. That if this is not your story, do not make it try to fit. Okay. Because I sometimes get those confusing comments, which is like, well, yesterday's message was this. And now today's message is that if I were, this is just me. If I were you guys, I wouldn't plug into every single reading that I'm putting out. That's just too many freaking readings. That's too overwhelming. So just watch the ones that you feel guided to watch, maybe even depending on the title. If you're like, ooh, that's not my story, don't even watch it, right? Or if you can, watch things from a detached perspective. Just kind of be somewhere in the middle. Be very discerning. Take what resonates and get rid of what doesn't. Not everybody can do that though. So if you do feel triggered pay attention to the um, titles and maybe just don't even bother to read or go into those types of readings. So that was just like a little reminder for you guys. Anyways, so I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do hope that it was helping someone out there. Maybe if you are dealing with someone who's kind of being deceitful and lying and you're just like, eh, I'm not sure about this person. Well, hopefully this reading gave you some clarity on that. Um, but again, you know, just take it if it resonated for you. So 
If you guys want to show my channel some love and support, I will go ahead and put some links down below where you guys can, um, you know, give me a little donation if you feel so inclined. And also you guys can support the channel by liking, subscribing, and commenting in the comment section. All those things help the channel to grow. And if you guys want to take advantage of that sale, it does go until the 23rd of this month. If you guys want to um, order your own personalized version of this reading, it's kind of the you versus them. I'll put that down below as well. Well. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys take care. All right. Bye-bye.